Hi everyone, it's been some time and I hope you're doing well. So, while I was away, Godot 4 released and it introduced a bunch of awesome new features like Sign Distance Field Global Elimination, an entirely revamped tile map editor and Volumetric Fog. But that is not what I would like to talk about today. Today, I would like to talk about a funny new little feature called Print Rich. Gido's console window is now a rich text label, which means that you can stylize the text in it with so-called BB code. With BB code, you can put tags around your print messages to do things like make your text bold, italic or underlined. You can change its size and you can change its color and its background color. And this last thing was the original intended use of this feature to print out C++ console output with its corresponding colors. But that's not why we're here. Let's explore some things that it was not supposed to be used for. You can now change the font. You can add big capital letters to make it look like it's text from the Middle Ages. You can make it wave, or you can make it violently shake. You can make your text pulse to grab everyone's attention. And you can make your text rainbow colored if you would want that. <laughs> Something else interesting that you can now do is that you can print out images. And you can even print out animated images. How about we do something silly with this? And then afterwards, I will show you some more useful use cases of this function. I proudly present to you probably the worst way to play your Godot game. Here, I grab a set amount of pixels from the current game frame. And then I create a really long string with colored characters for each of those pixels. Here you can see them side by side and you can see how jank it actually is. <laughs> it starts to lag so bad after a while. You can sort of solve this by clearing the console outputs, but there doesn't seem to be a way to do this via code. To get this even to work, I had to increase the maximum characters per second for the console to get rid of that pesky output overflow error. I also had to limit the max queued messages to prevent Godot from eating through all of my RAM. When I shared this online, Emilio asked how long until people request bad Apple? Well, it wasn't long before he realized that he was in fact the one requesting it. I originally tried to do all of this nonsense by printing out a viewport texture. This would give me a live view of the game in the output panel, but I only managed to grab Godot's editor viewport. <laughs> While this was not the intention, it yielded some rather interesting results. Turns out that you can create some pretty mesmerizing fractals with this. But this would be a better topic for its own future video. So maybe you could uh, subscribe? Now, <laughs> with that out of the way, let's have a look at some more useful applications of the print rich function. With the table and cell tags, you can, and you guessed it, print tables and cells. This can be useful for when you want to print out something like the contents of an inventory or other data that you would like to have neatly organized. When you're printing out large chunks of text, you can use the ordered list tag to number each line and paragraph. You can also add bullet points with the unordered list tag. Printing links is possible, both as a regular link or as clickable text, but clicking on them currently does not do anything because it's not been implemented yet. But hey, Godot is open source, so if there are enough people who are interested, it will probably make its way into the engine. And this last one is probably my favorite. With the hint tag, you can add tooltips to printed text. So for when you want to keep your debug output clean and readable, you can hide extra info inside of the tooltips. So 
Pretty cool, right? Now you have so many more ways to insult yourself or confuse your teammates in Gido's output window. Also, don't forget to close off your BB code tags. Otherwise, your errors might also become rainbow colored. I want to give a special thanks to all of my current and past patrons who have supported me over the past year. I will put all of these examples on GitHub and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.